Welcome back to the Creepypasta Files, Season 2. Today, we cover the Dog Man. Dogman is a story taking place from the perspective of someone telling a story from their childhood. The Dogman was a man in the neighborhood our storyteller grew up in. No one was close to him. No one even knew his name. Everyone just knew him as a kind man who would take the stray dogs in the neighborhood and assumedly take them to the pound. However, one day pets start going missing. Specifically dogs. No one suspects the Dogman. He's too kind and only taking the strays, right? Anyway, our storyteller's friend's dog goes missing, and a letter and a figurine of the dog are the only trace left. We don't find out what's in the letter, but we don't exactly need to. Late one night, our storyteller says that he woke up to see the dog man stealing the neighbor's dog. The dog man saw him, smiled, and walked off into the woods with the dog. That night, our storyteller ran off into the woods to find him, bringing a knife and a flashlight. Eventually, he finds a decrepit house in the woods, with the words Dog House written on the outside. Inside, he found the house to be in slightly better condition. The TV was playing a show on Animal Planet about dogs, and the kitchen was full of only dog food. Our storyteller believes the dog man has been eating it. Moving to the basement, there's a horrifying sight. The dog man, wearing a dog mask, was sleeping on the ground. In a corner, dog figurines and paint lay. Around the room, mutilated, dying, or malnourished dogs were laying on the ground. Our storyteller's friend's dog is sitting, alive, asleep, and tied by a leash to the dog man. Our storyteller cuts the dog loose and barely escapes, but the dog man awakes and chases him on all fours, howling into the night. He barely makes it back to his house and tells his mom everything. The police find the house, and the dog is returned to its owner. Everything seems fine except the dog man himself is nowhere to be found. Years later, our storyteller has moved on and is in his significant other's apartment. Her dog has gone missing. In a state of panic, he rushes out to check the mailbox. No note and no figurine. In a slightly calmer state, he goes back inside and up to the bedroom. There, sitting on the nightstand, is a dog figurine and a note. So, the story seems pretty straightforward by itself, but there is still unanswered questions. Why did the dogman follow our storyteller all the way to his new home years later? What drove the dogman to do these things? What's his origin? Well, I posit that the dogman is a reimagining of a werewolf. The dogman goes between being a friendly person to a complete monster, not physically, but his mentality has shifted to that of a werewolf. Could it be that he wasn't known to anyone around because he went missing, and now he's not himself anymore? He is a werewolf. All he knows when he breaks out of his haze is that dogs are important. That's why he can wander so easily, following the man who almost got him caught. He gains wolf-like abilities, allowing him to move fast on all fours. So could the dogman, instead of being just an insane man, instead have a more supernatural origin? What else would explain his inexplicable personality change and strange mannerisms? Anyway, that's my theory. So, what do you think of this episode of the Creepypasta Files? Season 2 I think is coming along nicely, and expect more soon. Tell me what Creepypasta I should cover next, or just your thoughts on this episode in the comments. The best comment will be pinned. See you all next time.